Greetings everyone, what is up? It's me here again, Tim Prime 1, with another video review for you all. And this video review is going to be based upon Transformers Classics, Optimus Prime. And this is a part of my revival and return. So let's go ahead and take a look at this figure, shall we? Yes, let's. So with this figure right here, we can tell with this Optimus Prime figure, he is looking really great. I love how, love how he looks. Got him from Classic Plastic Toys and Collectibles. Uh, and I must say, they sold him at, for a decent price. I must say, 40 bucks is a pretty decent price for this guy, kind of figure, especially of how he's going on eBay for. But so far with this figure, it, everything looks Gen 1-esque with this guy. Very much pretty accurate, if you ask me. And honestly, I love this figure over a lot of... Some of the other figures that has was released, except for the minus the 30th anniversary editions, but let's not go. But let's just not get into that real fast. Let's let's continue on with this figure, shall we? Now, with this figure right here, as you all can tell, nice semi truck mode. And I love the ru the rubbing Autobot symbol right here. You can rub it right there and it reveals the Autobot symbol. Love that gimmick. I also love of how they have the smokestacks back here to be in disguise. As his gun as well, because oh wait, wait, strike that, reverse it. I love how they have this these guns right here that can split into two to become the smoke sack, and how the roof of the vehicle is also his weapon. Yeah, that's a bit loose right there. I'll admit that. This I'll get into the section real fast for for the time being. This roof section right here is pretty loose. Not a big complaint, especially since after all it's a pretty old figure. I think they bought probably either bought it from someone or something. I don't know how they got this guy, but it's a really cool guy. That's really cool, except for except for this part right here. Not nothing too big for me so far, but it will flop around every now and then. And I love the paint job they did on him. I love the whole Silver paint right here, especially on top of the vehicle I'm right there. I love the. You can pretty much kind of see through the windshield right here, not as much. It's a transparent blue, well, dark blue windshield right there. And I will say there's like a bit of, like yeah, a bit of chip paint right right here. If you guys can see that right there, compared to this side right here. Bit of chip paint, but nothing too bad. I still love this vehicle mode. Nonetheless, it's really fantastic. Also, I want to also y'all, if y'all as y'all can tell, right here are the arms of the vehicle mode of this of this guy. Really nice and plastic wheels, as we all know. And can roll around, roll around, roll around. Really great looking figure. Now I do have Classics Jetfire, but over time of me being a slop that I am, missing some pieces and such, so I will try and get him brought back together, well, put it back together and make a video review based on him as soon as I can. But right now, let's go ahead and get down to this guy's transformation. Now, as we all know, oh, him, first thing, let's pause real fast. His feet right here, as we all can tell, they all can, his feet can fold right there. I, I wish that Hasbro would have concentrated right here on the feet a little bit further to where possibly they could fold, I mean, rotate around and fold onto the back right here. But looking at his feet right there, I realized that wouldn't probably be possible unless of course they had it more centered, but I don't know if they could have done something with the molding on, the, on his vehicle mode and his robot mode. Because the way I was thinking, they could have probably made like a little semi, like a little half circle right here, at least like a small half circle, to where you could rotate the foot around, place it down right here, to where it resembled like a little trailer hitch. But still great, but still it's pretty good looking. Still pretty good, well, pretty great, well, great looking actually, everyone. So now let's go ahead and get down to the transformation. Transformation is plain and simple. Take off the guns. Let's go ahead and fold the guns on up. Well, gun on up. Push this on out. Take this on up. Put it off to the side. Take the roof section. And much like with what we saw in the Bombay trailer, 
Visible Head Syndrome. On the sides, take the panels, rotate them, rotate this panel to two. There we go. Now, up next, front section right here. Take this and tab it and tab it right here as well. Rotate this on. Oh, okay, come on, there we go. It's kind of a bit difficult with his arms right in this area. There we go. Sorry about that. I know, I know. Close quarters right here. Sorry about all the close quarters. Doing our best to try and give you guys a good video. A good video right here. Rotate the arms up right here. And let me see if I can adjust this a bit. Um, like a tad bit right there with the tripod. I think my tripod's gonna be. I think this tripod's gonna be a little lopsided. Yep, it's gonna be a little lopsided. Give me one real quick second, everyone. One real quick second. There we go. Do that. Bring it down. down. There we go. And I don't think I. I don't think I. Oh wait, wait, I can kind of. There we go. That's better. That's what I saw. Sorry about that. I had to adjust the tripod a bit in the, ca in the camera. Go ahead. Rotate this on down. Here's his legs. Go ahead and take his feet. Rotate them on up. Right here. Separate his legs. Before I go any further, I want to say this about his feet. Like, I think they could put, like, a, him on them on, like, two separate hinges to where the foot could actually be more more out flat on the vehicle mode possibly so that way you could take like the two halves of the feet and just have them in together to where this would be more flush up against the bottom and to where this would be more like possibly strained on out like I like I showed you guys before. Yeah that's right. Right there with the legs. Take this piece right here that's that's the knee. These on up. Sorry about all the shadows. We'll be making improvements later on. Put his arms up. Bring one out. We'll bring this on right here. Bring his head on up. Oh, hang on. We get a better angle for you guys. His head will come on up right here. Now, go ahead. Take this whole assembly. Fold it on up. And there we go. A little groove section right in here that his head and that his head area that his head can rest on. Well, the area that his head is on can rest on. Take his entire. Whoops, I almost knocked the camera off. I don't want to do that. Oh, whoops, wrong way, wrong way. I... There we go. Kind of, there we kind of go right there. Trying to get him in a. That's a lot better. I think that's much better. Oh. No, it is not. <laughs> Give me a second. Readjusting! Down a bit, tap it up. There we go. There we have him so far. So I have to move the tripod a bit. Now, right here is his front. Go ahead and turn him, go ahead and take his upper section right here, his upper chest area, rotate this all the way around right there. Rotate this on down, take that on down. For his arms, there we go. Now, next thing you wanna do is bring his fist down Take these right here, and you want to fold this down and around his arm. Rotate it and rotate his arm, although I would rather do that later on. There we go. Same with this arm right here. Go ahead, rotate it all the way around. Rotate that around right there. There we have it. Now, 
Both of his guns, you can place them into his hands. One goes right here. Well, they both can go in either or hands. And also, before I turn this into a gun, I can first want to show you all that this can be play, be tabbed right there for like a, a shield behind his head for in case he has any blast of fire. So, so that way, when he's shooting forward, he can be protected from the back as well. So, yeah. And also, I think that in transformation, you can probably get this. You can probably just leave that right there during transformation. So that way, you don't have to write bother about moving it. There we go. Now go ahead and take this thing right here. The roof bit. Put this on down. There we go. There we go. Turn it, upside, turn it right side up. Technically upside down as well. And flip the gray piece. Or rotate out the great piece, full rotate, whatever you have, however you want to say it. Tap that into his fist, and voila. He has both of his guns. He has both of them. And I must say, I do love the transformation. I do love the mold. Hasbro had really done a great job with this guy. They did a fantastic job with the classics Optimus Prime figure. Oh, I almost forgot this piece right here. This piece right here. Um, rotate that back on up a bit. Let's bring, sorry, bring that up right there. Rotate that on in. You want to have it to where you can hear like a click sound. Well, not really a click sound, but it goes into that little groove section right there. You push on down. You rotate this back on down. Put it up against his back, and voila. Now he's completed. <laughs> sorry about that. But yeah, this is a really great vehicle mode. I really... Well, great robot mode. I really do love this. He even has a, like a little bit of light piping on the back of him right there. I'm using my cell phone right now, so I can't really show you all any kind of light piping. But yeah, hang on for a second. Maybe I can just... A little bit. You guys can see a little bit of light piping. Hang on for a second. Adjusting. Thank you very much for your patience. But yeah. Really nice robot mode, I must say. I'm gonna take these out of his fist real fast. And I, real fast, I do love how they have this thing to look like a gun and his smokestacks because of these little, I love these little holes right there for, for that disguise right there. That is really a nice molded detail right there. Very nice. Articulation wise, plain and simple. Arms can move up, down, all around. His elbow can go, is like pretty, is basically double jointed. Right, there we go. Leg can go out and in, up, bend the knee, down, back. There we go. Now, for this kind of figure, I would really recommend him. I really do recommend this kind of figure right here because of how well they did up the mold from like over from like 10 years ago or so. I can't remember when this guy came on out, but as soon as I found out about him, I really wanted to pay. I really wanted to grab him. Didn't really grab him up until like sometime this year. And, it was, and it's really worth the cash I got from him. And I know about the upgrade set that he, that, I can't remember what the, well, I think it was like perfect effect and then, then maybe upgrade set, I cannot remember, but I will get the red armor add-on set as soon as I possibly can for this guy. It, it will take me some time, and I will get up more videos as soon as possible. But everyone, I hope that you enjoyed this little video review that I have right here. And until next time, I'm Tim Prime Line. I'll be signing off. Peace out.